Flux One Korea is a new open source AI image model designed for more photo realism. My name is Rosh and I'm the co-host of the Creative AI Show where we are two creative guys talking AI. And in this video, we're going to talk about the new Flux One Korea model, which is really designed for that photo realism that many of us are looking for, especially when it comes to people. And of course, we're going to compare it. So here is my first test. We'll do a few of them, and I've already pre-generated it. A model walking down a city street with a red dress and purple gloves. And yes, this is very much a photorealistic image. I entered the same prompt to both Midjourney and Rev, which are excellent AI image generators. And let's see how they compare. Again, this is the same prompt. This is Midjourney. I think this is an excellent image. Here's another version and another and another. So this is how Midjourney interpreted the prompt. Pretty good. Here's Rev, which I truly think is one of the best AI image generators. It's often my go-to. Midjourney used to be my first, but now Rev is my first and then Midjourney is second. Although I do like Midjourney for video creation. It's a really good starting point for many of my projects. Here's the other version where they just cut in and didn't show you the full model in the rep. And back to Flux, I do think these are incredibly good images. And maybe it's really in the details that we're seeing here that is taking that next step because honestly, all the AI image generators these days are really, really good. But I think, I, I think I'm seeing more details here if I compare to the other platforms. One thing I do wanna show you is how fast this generator works. So let's start off with a chef cutting a steak in a fancy restaurant. And again, we'll compare it to Mid Journey as well as, as, well as Rev. Just hit generate. And there it is. Very moody. I like this. Here's our mid journey looking good. Again, you know, cutting and food often doesn't work out really well. So there's often some kind of awkwardness. That's not too bad. Uh, maybe. And that's maybe a little off. But interesting. Good, good imagery. Now let's check out Rev. That looks pretty good. And that one's pretty good, but maybe a little awkward. And yeah, sorry about the buy more credits sign. It, it always pops up now, uh, which is a complaint, quite honestly, of Rev. If you're trying to record, obviously it'll download just fine. So back to Flux Korea, I, I think this is a very good image. And again, the photorealism and the mood is, is really nice. Although I did not ask for the mood, it did give me a nice moody shot. Okay, let's make this a little interesting. Steampunk couple on their airship ready for battle. Let's see what happens here. Again, this is a quick generation. Nice. Very good. Look at the detail. Let's see if we notice this kind of detail in Mid Journey and Rev. So good detail. Yeah, I'm not going to knock them. Uh, okay, so they gave us a more of an illustrative version because maybe that's what we want. Pretty good. Mid Journey held up well. Let's go to Rev. And again, looking good. But I, I will say, I think when we flop back over to Flux, Korea, we're, we're going to see a noticeable detail difference. And there we go. Yes. I think they're doing what they set out to do with more realism, uh, the detail, photorealism. And the other ones are there, but this is just that little step further that makes it more real. Let's try one more and again, get, go in deep with this comparison. 
For this one, we're going to try a combination, which is a husky running through a multicolored daisy field. And a husky running through a daisy field, if you don't know, was the first prompt that I started testing with long ago when I was testing the image as well as video generation for AI. But now we're going to add a little twist, futuristic city in the background. And here we go. And yeah, it has a hyper realistic. I would say this has a little bit more of that illustrative look than the photo realism. Let me know if you think otherwise. But let's compare it to Midjourney and Rev. And here we are with Midjourney. And I would say this is more illustrative than the Flux one. Let's see what else. Oh, that's very illustrative. Uh, yep, all. Wow, I like that angle. That's really cool. I, I think that's an amazing shot. Let's take a look at Rev. Here we go. Okay, pretty cool. Oh, that's very cool. Let's look in a little closer. Yeah, futuristic city, daisy field, multicolor. Very good. Now let's pop back over and take a close look at Flux Korea. So I would say out of the three, this is the more realistic version. So I, despite the fact that I thought it wouldn't win the day, it does win the day. So really the question is, did Flux Korea do what it set out to do, which was to make a more photorealistic, more aesthetic image with AI compared to the other models. And honestly, the other models are really, really good. So you're only going to get incremental steps. And I do think these succeeded in doing what they wanted to do. If you want to hear more about AI for the creative, check into the Creative AI Show every Monday on this YouTube channel in your favorite podcast location, where we are two creative guys talking AI. I'll see you in the next video.